Welcome to the Project Watch. This is LP. Now, today I'm going to be talking about the Hellcat. And I don't mean the car. I'm talking about Spanish Stone's very own boogeyman. A Yeti 7, who I'm not exaggerating, people sit down and discuss like a some old time dopey story. Remember them days, eh? They sit down on a fire, right? And old time people tell a story about dopey rolling calf. I'm talking about City Post, aka Lucifer. The long awaited video is here. Before we go any further, we have a Patreon birthday shout out to none other uh, than Kerry and uh, my solar. Patreon since December 2020. Now, our birthday was yesterday, but we make our notes there. Right. The video I'll go drop today. And Kerry and yeah, get a special present, right? Your birthday shout out, I believe, right? As long as the City Post video is on YouTube. No, I don't know. It's a good or a bad thing, but big up yourselves to me. Hope you have a great day. Don't know, carry on. Thanks for the support, I literally, years now. Enough rating, sin. Big up yourself. Also, another thing. Just wanted to say, rest in peace, Nigel Walford. Again. Because this was a video he was also looking forward to. Right. Don't know. Nigel is no longer here. That's August Town 876. Right. Rest in peace, Nigel. Right. Rest in peace, Nikita Noel. You know, people like Jasmine Lee, we don't forget them. Right. But it's time. We can move into the video. How do you quantify evil? How do you measure? Savagery. I'm going to look on your screen. This is City Post leaving court. As you can see, you have a kerchief upon him head. Even with his head covered, his presence is ominous. I want you to look at the picture good. Look at his hand. Look at his index finger. AKA trigger finger. See, for the casual observer, this is just a normal picture. But for those no city posts, no said nothing right there, so right, don't happen by chance. The way how him set him on everything about him right, is to show why the clansman gang dubbed him. Lucifer. He was just found not guilty right, for being a part of the clansman gang. They didn't catch him for no murder. Right. They didn't even catch him and being a part of the gang. One day, Jamaica will hear why that is ludicrous. Right. And when we say here, well, they are going to say what we are talking about. But for now, I'm going to tell you what city post. If you see this name on a piece of paper, you might mistake him for some accountant or a librarian or something. This brother is a death merchant. Right? When City Post eventually right, pass on like all of us will, right, I don't know if it's going to be from um, old age, right, I don't know how it's going to go, because I don't know, don't know how we're going to go, but we all know we're going to go. When that happened, before them threw him in the dirt, Scientists need to cut off piece of brain and examine it. There must be some kind of electrical short circuit. Some signal not sent to something. I know if you're not from Spanish Town, you're not familiar with the Klansman gang. But you might think I'm exaggerating, making up things to get views. But people who know the name Titipus know me at that board. Right. This youth brain needs to be studied. Maybe we can figure out what go on with him and what go on with others. City Post was one of the 87s that helped Bowlby dominate the space in St. Catherine North. With 87s at this point, theme team, Bowlby was unstoppable. They say City Post is from the same era as other right, well known young members like, for example, Roderick and Emilia. 
City Post was different though. Unlike Roderick, he seemed to relish being attacked like a true psychopath. Right. The reason I mention Roderick is because the world probably know about him by now. Right. Of course, you know, so I for them, but Roderick right. and most clansmen, most 87 in general, when they might attack you, brutal. Shot you up, chop off your head, fling your body, all kind of things. But when they're attacked, right, it's a different story. Citipus seemed to relish being attacked. In that sense, he's similar to the youth from Mobi, right? the Lana Prickly Boy, Wilma. Right. Citipus right, was with Muma, who is sleeping on your screen. Right? At one point, then did they. City Post right, went to prison and as you heard in the Muma video, right, Crooks and you know, other man take over. But Muma would go on to be very powerful in the Klansman gang. She was found guilty, which is extraordinary that I don't know how one would found guilty and one would found not guilty. Right, when basically everything that was presented show the two of them right, working with black man in the gang. By the way, you want to see Mooma's shirt? I wonder if you want to take Mooma's shirt. This is for all of the girls who call themselves. All of the young girls who call themselves Dal and Barbie. Right? And it's about soft, what, what they say, soft life, soft girl era. Forget about it. Pretend or not pretend. She's a real hot girl. Eh? Look for Mooma's shirt. They say you only wear Gucci. You only have a LB shirt, you only have a Chanel shirt, you only have a Prada shirt. Mumma have one shirt with the whole of them on it. Mumma have one shirt with every brand. This is custom, straight from Italy. Forget about it. Step a game up. You can't reach more levels. But, City Post never does have Mumma. The Hellcat did full of kerosene. But tell me already it go. A bad man place not the culture. The youth them with the murderous reputation. Get the most girl them. May I give you some examples as to how this psychopath will end up getting the name Lucifer. Some of the things them when do. City Post was on top of one of them kerosene them. Or Mr. on top of you know my car about right? Big people thing, robot dub thing. While City Post was robot dubbing, the kerosene. In get a call. Man tell him say yo, you know say she ain't farm. She tell such and such this, such and such that. City bus get up off of the girl, go straight for him gun, and point it straight in her eagle eye, and pull the trigger. He then went back to the corner, laughing and telling the man name story. Gunman, 87s, was shot and appalled. City Post is one of them 87s away. Forget trying to quantify the amount of people who him kill. When you talk about kill people and hide body, if you're lucky, right, you might get killed in a public area and then find your body. But City Post has somebody where, right, when he feels say you have to go, he just kill them, right, and then he go back and laugh, say so he kill them, but nobody knows where the body is. So not only people tell ducky stories about City Post, him tell him own ducky stories. Another example. City Post killed a youth, now. the youth was in a wheelchair. Right. Now, from what I understand, he was actually 87. Right. But some of up in a wheelchair. Right. City Post was given the task to go kill this youth. City Post use him foot and catch the huge wheelchair right? as him a roll. You know? we know how people in wheelchair move. So he's rolling his wheelchair. City Post step out and catch him with his foot. Empty him gun in the youth belly and stomach. He then take the gun off him second and empty it in the youth too. Walk off laughing as people in the dealer scream 
and I lose their mind. The crime scene was so gruesome, that's when the police turned on. Them theorized say, whoever this killer was, must be some kind of poor kid. Because no sane man would do this to somebody who was in a wheelchair and was completely defenseless. Two magazines emptied in the youth. This was something that would shock people, but the city post, it was just another day. As I said, the funny thing them surrounding the Hellcat, they sound made up, they sound exaggerated. The funny thing them only people with intimate knowledge of the gang know that them happen. But, them happen. City post, as I said, seem to relish being attacked. It's almost like him get some kind of kick out of violence, whether that's inflicting violence on others or the violence coming towards him. City post go to kill a man one time, and in the process of killing the man, the man stops the post. When him look, him spring up, run down the man, catch him, shut him up, and kill him. Once again, this was somehow entertainment for the demon cat. These type of activities made his own gang members came to the conclusion that there is no way my city post can be of this world. There is no way him could have born out of a normal woman and just you know, come out of some hospital and just born and grow up. This youth have to be some kind of devil. That is how he was given the name Lucifer. Now, you don't know the clansman gang by now, you see me covered by many of the 87 of them. When other gunmen look by you and say something is wrong with you, something is wrong with you. Let me, let me put it another way. When clansman gang, a gang that produce so many broods, when people in that gang look upon you and say, you're missing a screw, you're missing a screw. When your type of criminal activities then disgust other gunmen who kill people regularly and chop off people's head, not even a therapist can help you. City post need. You know what show you see one man in a room? Straight jacket, just be a white wall. That is what city This is why, out of all are the people them we boss the clansman case. Ezzy and Smokey them all of them, right? Crush back the road and then probably I keep up them foolishness and all that. But the one that shot me the most was City Bus. But can't believe City Bus right, get found not guilty. City Bus, right, is related to Poppy Stream. Right? Enough people don't know that. But Poppy String was killed by Bolby. And Bolby was City Post Dan. He rated Bolby highly. End time people ask him, Oh, you rate Bolby? So you and Bolby get along so good. Right. And Bolby kill your family. City Post made it clear. Him no business about who are family and who is one. Oh, him see it. Poppy String was a soft Dan. Bolby was a real dog. He liked Bolby because he was brutal and he killed anyone in his way. That is what City Post identified with murder. That made City Post respect Bolby even though Bolby killed him on a family. City Post had no concern about who are family and who are bred and who are cousin and all that nonsense. Bolby was the bigger monster, and that is what he looked up to. City Post their own from learning about them days, I read Paul them long time. Let me say, anybody right, who's familiar with that era would know City Post. And basically, they did from Clansman right, become what they see today. He lived through the eras from Bolby era to Tesha era to Blackman era. 
City Post is still here in 2023, a fight case. They say the great irony in all of this is that a man who is probably one of the longest serving clansmen alive just got found not guilty for being a clansman. Now, speaking about the different era, the telling us City Post did rate Bulby and Bulby rate City Post. Now, when Bulby dead, there were a number of names that could potentially uh, become Dant. You know, you have the, the Dave clans and them and the City Post's theme name did only come up because of his, uh, as I say, his murderous tendencies. But in terms of, you know, Danship, City Post really wasn't good for business. Tesha was a better fit, not just business, but politics. Remember, there's always a political link somewhere. Tesha is easier to work with. City Post, theme Ed Comango, kind of hard to program in a certain way. But at first, City Post worked with the system right, and accept Tesha as a done. So the same way, Bulby had a core group of 87s that helped him right, destroy anybody in the path, at the same way Tesha right, did have theme 87s. Some of the original set from Bulby plus Wally more. Right. Remember, Tesha still had you like Roger Cannon with the you know, City Post. Let me say, you know, you have the developer Carvel. Right. You may talk about the JJ Nakis and them you there. Fathers, Renny, too much to come. But here's the thing with City Post and Tesha. Tesha, there are some local ways where, right, especially when it comes down to women that used to annoy City Post. In the code, one of these stories would come out. Tesha used to have a woman, I don't know if he still did with her, but Tesha used to have a girl with Right. Well, let's just say she used to put her hands on him. Now, I don't know if Tesha have some kind of fetish and him like them type of things. Eh? But let's just say right, from time to time, you just see the damn face looking swollen. City Puss would have to be the one who take it upon himself. Right. If you go page the girl, you see the whole thing kind of spooky because Tesha is a man with. And, you know, there with this woman and the woman daughter, you know, take with Tesha from her mother. Right. Right. So, when all them bangarangs they are going, City Post was basically playing the role of not just 87, but Jerry Springer. You can't make this up. But eventually, City Post's resentment for Tesha would reach boiling point. After City Post was convicted, for murder. City Post killed Errol Miller in 2005, but he wasn't convicted until 2012, right? seven years after. But why City Post resent Tesha is because City Post blamed him for not killing the witness. Yeah. Then find out real early who was the witness, and then could I get rid of the witness real early but Tesha was hesitant. City Post didn't see this as an accident. He didn't see this as I just one of them things there. Or him see it. Tesha no say him as in City Post, right? A quote unquote bad man. And is a threat to his leadership because, because of the reputation of City Post. City Post feel like Tesha saw him as somebody who could possibly usurp him one day. Remember, even though you have a Dan in our gang, and everybody accepts that he might have done. There are some 87s right, who are very senior and very powerful amongst the 87s. And because people deal with them more than they would have done, right, there's always this underlying threat that, you know, they might end up become a challenge one day. They say City Post know all the gang work and know so they're not each to kill witness. So now, when him, as in City Post, right, in danger of going to prison, and he's one of the gang's main 87s, how come hesitation are gone? This must be a greater plot to get rid of the Hellcat. So when Black Man came along and promoted City Post right, to basically second in command, right, he was one of the highest ranking people in 
you know, the quote-unquote one-down faction, a client, even though he was behind bars, he finally felt like he was getting the power he deserved. City Post always wanted to be some kind of done, right? at least officially. So now, he can call and make orders and send out, you know, get rid of him, do this, pick up this, move the money. Here. This made City Post extremely loyal to Black Man. Right? Because it was Black Man who gave him the spot, right, where he think he truly deserved. Even to this day, when them go court, or when the court proceedings are going on, only two people would sit beside Black Man. That's Kevin, Black Man brother, and City Puss. Because when Black Man sits in that kind of crumble down, enough of the man them start switch up, City Puss was one of the first people then. People start this. Because remember, he's behind bars. So, he must send man go shoot people. So when them people they stop, take orders from him now, and other people realize that, right? then, Right. People start make certain talk that they wouldn't make if City Post was on the road. Now for them, the old City Post used to give orders to are now their own gang leaders. Hazy and Smokey them. If City Post wasn't convicted, if he did bust the case and touch back the road, people would have packed up and left Spanish too. So when time I tell them, say, scientists need to look and City Post's brain, when you need to understand, say, it's because there's 87s and then there are 87s. You see, there's some part of it where you can understand. For example, in a gang like clans, right, when you have the sci fis and the, the barbers, right, the crooks, and the JJ Nakis, right, and the badders, and the, the Carvels, and the Rennies, and them, really, what normally happens is that. Killing two people is the enough. You have money in a clans where have two quote unquote doppy. A man look on them like my idiot. You have clansmen who kill two people and if you ask about them in the gang, people tell you say my idiot. Because in clansman gang, two people are not. Right? Man it this you and tell us you only kill two people. That is a this. What then happens is that there is a cold war on who can push the boundaries of barbarism. That is why you notice shooting man wasn't enough. People start to compete. Who can do the most gruesome things? So there's that side to it. But here's the thing. City Post didn't become like this right? in the later studies of Klansman. Right? Because Clansman started off as a normal gang, shoot, shoot people. Then they became this monstrous organization where he'd start chop off and fling a river. But City Post was always right, a hellcat. Even from the early days at Bulby, right, he stood out from his murderous peers. That is why, I say, City Post's brain needs to be examined. Now, there is one part of this where I can't speak on. And that is his current state of mind. Normally when the 87 killed people as long as the post, eventually they start to break down. Eventually, they start to become tormented. You've seen the videos, you've seen Doggy video, you've seen Nevada Hodges video. Because the post is in prison, right? I don't know if him and I himself, right? Twisting and turning, right? And cold to wash him, I don't know. It could be. But, it doesn't seem like him. Now I'm end up on the road, I can see them and watch how them progress or regress right, into a state of almost insanity. Well, people can tell about City Post. City Post love badness and guns so much that all in their prison and money I make. Gonna for buy. Gonna for buy. Yeah man, that one that my one and he can't even use it. Right. That would put the one over the stuff me and he can't use it. But then again, City Post, like enough money that prison, is convinced them soon to try the road. We don't know where them know, but he convinced them soon to try the road. In the very near future, they can make when they see and hear certain things. Right. But City Post, 
and I was to say the most extraordinary verdict out of all of them was the post being found not guilty. But that is for another day. That is for after the sentencing. But I'm going to leave that one day till after the sentencing. But I said this. This week, I guess you could call it Clansman Week. Tomorrow, you're going to have a guest on the channel. Yes, we're going to have a guest. You tell the PHM squad from early in the year what this is coming to reality now. We're going to talk about the Clansman Gang. You don't want to miss it. This whole week is going to be one to remember. Right. You look at YouTube, I'll go drop some content. But I promise in a long time. You won't need Netflix this week. You can lock off Netflix. Right. And unlike Netflix, right, you don't have a pay feed. Right. Then they'll show you two ads where you can't skip enemy. So it's not costing nothing. So make sure you see your phone and your computer will charge up. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, Peter Squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know, go live. Ultra Squad, see you circling. Bless.